I would say that writing books for children is definitely not as easy as people think it is. Largely because children aren't idiots. In lockdown number two, I produced this guy. Uh, it's my fifth Toto book, uh, Toto the Ninja Cat uh, and the Legend of the Wild Cat by me, Dermot O'Leary, illustrated by my dear friend Nick East. So this is based around my real cat, who's a um, eight-year-old cat who's blind, who we adopted in Italy. And we realized when we brought Toto over uh, that whilst she was blind, she had incredible reactions and she could see through breaks of light. So we started calling her the little ninja uh, because her reactions were so quick. And then that's where the, the original kernel of the idea came from. So this is my fifth book now where Toto is a fully fledged ninja uh, and uh, she's on a mission in Scotland to find um, the legendary wildcat up there. I would say that writing books for children is definitely not as easy as people think it is. Largely because children aren't idiots. So uh, you have to properly plan out your narrative structure because let me tell you, they will pick up on things um, from, so I've got five books now, and when we go and tour these books, you'll get kids who will, who will uh, point out something in book two, paragraph three, chapter five, uh, that you, ca you can't even remember writing. And I'll say, when you said the, the Toto and Catface were climbing up the mountain, how comes in chapter six, uh, you said Catface was scared of heights? And you think, my God, they're right. So they're incredibly discerning readers and, uh, and they're not easy to write for at all, but I love doing it. I'm quite excited to read books to my son. I'm quite nervous because I just really want him to like the books. And I know that, um, the books that he's, he's only 40 months now, but the books that he does like are really good. And uh, so obviously he's gonna have to be a little bit older before I can start reading him this, but um, I really hope he likes them. I think it's a really difficult question to answer because they're just such different disciplines. Um, so obviously doing two and a half hours of live telly, whether it was on X Factor or this morning, or um, comes with its own challenges. But especially when you're, when you're five books in, you're conscious of the fact that kids are growing up with these books who were seven and then you meet them at a book tour and now they're 11 or whatever and they're still coming to the end of, of, of being a Toto reader but, they, but you know you still want to do them justice. So the best piece of advice I got when I was putting pen to paper and this is going to sound so base and I don't mean it to sound reductive at all but Simon Mayo who's a brilliant writer and an old colleague of mine on Radio 2 when I was asking his advice, he just said to me, the, the most important thing you can do is just sit down with pen and paper and write. He said, because it doesn't matter if you get it wrong. It doesn't matter if you go down rabbit holes. It doesn't matter if you go, um, you end up in alleyways. Because you, you can always scrap it and start again. But it's better to sit down and write than procrastinate about the ideas.